Do you have trouble reaching this too? Doula Darby presents the t-shirt trick using a full buckle baby carrier. Hello, my name is Darby. I am a birth doula, postpartum doula, and certified baby wearing educator. Um, and this here is Josephine. And today I want to show you how to do the t-shirt trick with the standard Ergo Baby. The Ergo Baby is called um, also a full buckle. There are other brands that have the same um, structure. A full buckle basically means that you close the wrap or the, the carrier with the buckles. So there's one around the waist that buckles in the back and then two shoulder straps that also buckle in the back strap. As a baby wearing educator, I see parents um, often wearing the Ergo Baby in, in a way that would make it so that their back probably hurts, or even hear from them and they say, oh, I stopped wearing my baby at some point because the baby got too heavy and it was pulling too much on my back, I was getting back aches. You can actually work on or improve the way you use the Ergo Baby to make the weight distributed more evenly against your back, um, improving your center of gravity with the baby as baby grows. These are the things you want to be careful not to do when you're using the Ergo Baby Carrier. First of all, the waist belt is actually more of a waist belt, but some people think it might be more of a hip belt and put it too low. Or they snap it in the back at their waist, but it sags down towards their hips in the front so that it's slanted. I'm going to use my assistant, my daughter Josephine, who is six weeks old. And because of that, I need to use the newborn in, um, insert for the Ergo Baby. Now the newborn insert, now you can hear the fussy baby in the background. Um, looks like this and it comes with a pillow that the baby sits on and you can use it like that or I actually prefer to just use this pillow. I take my baby high up and I'm going to put this pillow between her legs to bring her into the end position and slowly put her down at about that level but like I said this is now too low really lower than I'm going to want it and it's pulling more on my lumbar spine. I bring the back panel up. For one, I'm already getting stuck. And two, like this. And then they'll reach around the back here and try to clip these two in the back. Now some people have the flexibility in their arms to be able to do that. Clip it like this and put it like this. The other mistake that I see is that once it's up here like this, this will actually be too far apart and it will go more onto their outer shoulders, which causes their shoulders to roll forward, and you kind of get into this slouched position. I can also tighten the straps here if I want to, but when I do that, I also notice that the straps here are cutting into the back of my arm, which is also uncomfortable for a longer period of time. So now I'm going to show you the fabulous t-shirt trick. You want to set up your ergo before you start this. So I'm also going to have here my waist belt more at my waist, which means I want it to be a little bit tighter so it stays snugly on my waist. And then I'm going to take a look at these two shoulder straps. Now these two shoulder straps can adjust here on the sides. And for this trick, I'm actually going to open these up as far as they go, except for a little tiny tail, just enough for me to grab with my hand. And I'm going to do that to both sides on the other side as well. And here's my little tail. And with the t-shirt trick, I also want to adjust the back strap to where I'm going to want it so that it sits between my shoulder blades or just above where my shoulder blades are in the back here, like that. So, I know from experience, and you're gonna have to toy around with this a little bit to get the, the sweet spot, that I want these about halfway through. And I don't know how many people know this, the back strap on the Ergo is slidable like this. So I'm gonna put it at about the middle and make sure those are at the same height, same location, and strap this in. And I'm also gonna want this to be a little bit tighter so that it is secure on my shoulder blades. And I am now ready for my baby. I'm gonna take Josephine. Hello, little Josephine. Mwah. And that pillow that I mentioned before, I'm gonna put that between her legs and bring her into approximately the position I'm gonna want her to be in. And that's that M froggy position. You can see here the M. I'm then gonna take the back panel as I hold her and bring that up. Now at this age, her feet are still going to be inside of the back panel. You can see it there and here. 
And now I'm going to take each of these, which is like a, a sleeve, put my arm through one on this side, and then my arm goes through here on the other side. I take the back strap, pull it over my head, like this. Yeah, make sure she's all snug in there. You want the back panel to go up to about the, the shoulder neck area, as you can see here. It goes all the way up there. And now I can reach around and that little tail that I used before, I can take that and pull it tighter and do the other side. I'm not gonna pull it completely tight yet because I want to make sure that they're about even, my shoulders. And then I can take a look, see how they're even like this. And this is now much more comfortable. I have these straps not on the outside of my shoulders and not in my neck area, making my neck all tense. I have them in between so it's nice and comfy. And around the back you can see that instead of all the way up here, I have the back strap at my shoulder blades. And that's going to distribute the weight much better. As you tighten the straps, lift baby gently, because that will bring baby into the position that you want him or her in. So once you are done wearing your baby in the ergo after using the t-shirt trick, you'll also need to know how to get back out, because now I've got the shoulder strap in a place that I can't reach. But we do that by loosening these straps, that was the last step we did. And here also you want to hold this with your fingers and not pull back like this because it's hard to get farther back. You stay here with the buckle and I pull on the strap here with this hand until it's loose again. And I do the same thing with the other side. And the great thing too is I can secure baby at the same time, pulling the strap looser. Now once that's loose, I bring one arm through the bottom, here the other side, through the bottom, I can now lift these straps up onto my shoulders, grab the back strap, and pull it over my head. And now I have baby free. And I'll gently put baby down. And if I want to, too, I can also unbuckle the ergo and take it off as well. I hope you enjoyed learning the t-shirt trick with the ergo baby or any other full buckle carrier. Um, if you want to learn other tricks about baby wearing, you can attend one of my classes in the Munich area, um, or I can come to your house and work with you and your baby for an in-home consultation. To find out more, visit my website at doulaDarby.com.